Today, we're gonna to be going over how to code uh, the variance and standard deviation with respects to population and sample in Python. We're gonna go over examples of how to calculate each of these manually, and then we're gonna take a look at a few different libraries that make our lives way easier. But before we do start coding these in Python, I am gonna go through a little bit of the theory behind each of these calculations and do a few of them manually. So with that out of the way, let's learn about variance and standard deviation. All right, so before we started coding, I just want to go over a little bit of both of these calculations for population and sample, as well as some of the definitions. If you guys do like this presentation style, please let me know because I want to make these videos a little bit more comprehensive than they are. And I feel like having a little bit of slides or information before we start coding is helpful. So population versus sample population, you have data for every individual in the total population. For example, it, you have marathon times for every runner in a race. You can find the time for everyone that finished at a Boston marathon. Uh, the length of this calculation, which you'll see, is going to be N. Now, sample is when you only have data from part of a population. So let's say, for example, you're trying to look at the average marathon time for U.S.-based runners. Well, you aren't going to have the average time for every runner. You might be able to scrape most races, but not every race is going to be populated online. Also, some people run marathons on their own, and that data may not be out there. Uh, Garmin may have it, which is the watchmaker, but again, not everyone wears a Garmin watch or just like a smart watch in general. Some people may just run a marathon on their own. So you won't have every single data point. And because of that, you'll often see the length in a calculation is N minus one. Now, here's how variance works. So variance measures essentially how spread out the numbers are in a data set from the mean and this is the calculation over here. Now, this looks pretty tricky if you don't understand algebra, but let me break it down in like simple terms. So this XI over here, this is your number. Let's imagine like you have five numbers, right? This X with the line at the very top, this is your mean. So what you're doing first is you're taking every number in your list or whatever, however you're storing your numbers and you're subtracting the mean. Then what we do is we square all of those results and then we sum them all up. So for example, right? Like imagine you had the number five and the average was 10. So you take five minus 10. Now you have negative five. You square that, you have 25, right? Your next number is three. Three minus 10, negative seven. You square that, now you're at 49. And at the bottom you have N. And if we go back over here, if you're looking at population, you just divide by N. If you're looking at sample, N minus one. So if you have seven numbers, you divide by seven or you divide by six. And then this gets you variance, which is this sigma squared. But we'll go over that in a second. So the variance calculation, let's imagine you had marathon times in minutes. So 145, 180, 242, 233, 177, 311, 365. First thing you do is you find the mean, which is just all these numbers added up divided by the length. So that is 236.14. Then you need to find the length. So the population length is seven, the sample length is six. Then you calculate all of those differences for each of them. I didn't put all those over here, but in this example, 145 minus 236.14, 180 minus 236.14, 242 minus 236.14, et cetera, right? Now you square all those, which this is gonna be negative 91, square that, negative 56, square it, 5.86 squared, et cetera, for everything. Then you sum up all these over here, right? Those are the numbers from earlier. And then you divide by the length of the population or sample. So depending what calculation you're doing at the time, population or sample, and then you get these final results, population 53.16, and then sample 62.02. So again, all we do first mean, then you find the length, find the differences, square, sum, divide might take you a few tries to understand this, but I promise you, you'll get it ingrained pretty easily. Now, standard deviation, you'll find it in this symbol, which is called sigma. So what you'll notice over here is uh, for standard deviation, that's squared. Well, to calculate the standard deviation, all you have to do is take the square root of the variance. But uh, let me read over the definition first. Standard deviation is a measure of how spread out the numbers are in a data set are from the mean, just like variance but it's in the same units as the original data. It's the square root of the variance, right? So you take variance and then you raise it to the 0 0.5 power, which is essentially squaring it. 
which is essentially taking the square root of it. And uh, you have the same exact calc for population or sample, right? You, so uh, if you have the population over here, you take the square root, you get the population standard deviation. You have the sample over here, 6202, you take the square root, then you have the sample uh, standard deviation. So when I did those, population 72.91, and then sample being 78.75. Now, there's a lot of steps in here. I'm going to show you how you can do this much easier in Python still. For the first example, a manual calculation, which again, easier than doing these all one at a time over here. Uh, but then we'll go into essentially one line of code, which automates all this. But I think it's helpful to go over at least how these are calculated before that. All right, so let's get started. What we're gonna start is bringing our imports. So you only need two for this video, I believe, so import NumPy as NP. Then we're gonna import in statistics as ST. So statistics as ST, awesome. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a list and pretty easy data equals, and I'm just gonna spam a bunch of numbers. And I don't recommend you copy exactly that I put in here because it's honestly just a waste of time. But we're gonna get the same exact results, do that. Otherwise, I literally just spammed my keyboard and these numbers are different than the example that I prepped. So with that being said, let's start off with example number one. So example one, what we're gonna take a look at is population variance. So population variance and the standard deviation, and we're gonna do this manual. So let's do that first. So the first thing we need to do is find our mean. So how we calculate mean equals the sum of the data. So the sum of this over here, right? And then we're gonna divide by the length of the data. So divided by length of the data over here, right? And I'm curious what the mean is. So I'm just gonna print out this mean over here. And the mean is 178. Awesome. Now what we're gonna have to do is find the square differences. So square diffs equals, and what we're gonna do is list comprehension. We're gonna go over here, X minus mean. And then over here, that two for X in data. So, Essentially what we're gonna do for each of these, right? And let me explain this probably a little bit easier. We're taking the value of X, right? Which is each of these in this list. We're subtracting the mean, which is 178. And then we're squaring them. And it's saying for X in data. Now data is this list, right? X is each of these 43, 5, 67, 31, 8, 3, 7, 6, 5, 3, 9. So this is kind of a shortcut to write it. So X minus mean, we do that first, right? That's why it's in parentheses. This means we're gonna square it, right? Two stars right next to each other. And then for each X in data, which is our list. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, I have a full video going over this, um, but it's pretty easy just to do it one line. So now all I have to do is we're gonna do a population variance over here. So pop variance, I must call this manual equals, and we're gonna sum our squared differences over here. So sum those. And then what we're gonna do is divide by the length of the data. So length of our data, which I guess we could have just made that into a variable, but that's all right. That's not too bad. And uh, now we wanna see what this looks like. Let's print this out. And that is our population variance that's manual. And now we can do the population variance or population standard deviation. So all we have to do now is take the square root. So easiest way to do that is I'm gonna just go over here and call this pop and I'll put STD for standard deviation manual. And we're gonna say that's equal to this population variance. And since we're just taking the square root, all I have to do is 0.5 like that, right? And, uh, you know, one line of code, you get the standard deviation, I will like that. And boom, there we go, 286, which if you go over here, does that make sense? We have three, and we have all the way up to 765, we have 567, three again, nine, eight, 31, 43. Um, these numbers are all over the place. So it makes sense why we're getting 286, that side of things. So now what I wanna do, 
And this is gonna be very similar, but we're gonna take a look at example number two. So example two, which is gonna be sample variance in standard deviation. So sample variance and STV dev. Awesome. So let's do this. Now what we're gonna do, very similar code to above. So the first thing we have to do on here is, let me just go over here and grab this. So we'll change this up a little bit. So instead of pop, we're gonna say sample. Uh, variance manual is gonna be the same. So we're still summing the squared differences of this. So this code over here, uh, we don't need to do anything about it, right? And the only difference now is we're gonna go over here at the bottom and we're gonna do length minus one. So just length, data, and minus one here at the bottom. And this is our sample, right? And if we wanna go print this out, so prints, and we print out our sample, you see 93, 490, and then we wanna get the standard deviation. I'm just gonna grab this. Well, I guess I gotta grab that whole line. So let's grab this whole line and we'll go over here to sample like this. So sample standard deviation manual. And all you have to do is take your sample variance manual and we're taking the square root of that. And uh, let's print that out after. So prints our sample standard deviation and we get 305. Now, let me show you some shortcuts on how we could do this. So what we're gonna do now, and by the way, again, the only difference between these two is our sample at the bottom for our length data, we're subtracting one, everything else is the same. Uh, so really all you have to do on this side of things, first find the mean, right? Then what we're gonna do is find the squared differences. So take each of these in the list, minus the mean, then square them, right? And then all you have to do is sum those divided by the length. And if you wanna find the, the sample, you subtract one at the bottom and make sure to put those in parentheses, otherwise you're gonna get it, the wrong answer. So uh, pretty simple, but we can make this simpler. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at NumPy. So NumPy is a go-to library and we're gonna say NumPy pop variance and standard deviation. And this is easy, right? So we wanna find our pop variance. So I'll say NP pop variance. All we have to do is do NP dot var and throw in your data, right? And then check this out. If I print this out, so prints and NP pop variance, right? 81.803 and we go back up over here, same exact thing. Uh, they just made our math way, way easier because we didn't have to do it, right? And if we wanna find our standard deviation, we can just go over here, NP, pop, and we do STD, deviation. And then all I have to do on this side of things is put STD, so STD like that, run it, and then print it out. And put that over here. And you can see 286, we scroll back over here, 286.01. So that's correct on here. And uh, so now what we wanna take a look at is, and this is example four, that's gonna be NumPy, and we're gonna look at sample variance and deviation. So here's how you can do this. Again, very simple. So what we're gonna do is NP sample variance, and all we're gonna do is the same thing that we had before, so NP.var, and we're gonna pass through another parameter. So the first time, all we did is pass through data, right? And that got us our population variance. But if you wanna find the sample one, all you have to do, put over here, is DDOF equals one. And that's gonna subtract the one here at the bottom. And if you print this out, so prints, not like that. Let's go back, prints, and grab this over here. Right, 93, 490. And just to confirm our math, 93, 490 is correct. And all we have to do this time is find our standard deviation now. So we'll just go back over here and we'll say NP sample standard deviation. And it's the same thing, right? You just put DDOF equals one 
in here as the additional parameter and NP standard deviation, we put sample, awesome. So this will work pretty easily and uh, prints. Let's grab this over here. Now you could technically just go over here and take the square root of this as I showed you earlier, or you can just use NP.standardDeviation if you don't wanna even calculate the variance. Um, and just to show you that this still works, right? Very, very simple. If I go over here and say 0 0.5, right? You can still see 305. So really whatever way that you want. And I just wanna show you one other library real quick because it is a quite popular library. And there's a lot of different statistics libraries out there. So as I make more of these statistics videos, we'll explore some of those. Um, but this is example five over here. So example five, we're gonna take a look at the statistics. And it, we only have on the statistics library, the sample variance. Uh, it doesn't give us, and I'm gonna make this note. So statistics does, and then my horrible spelling, so I apologize, does not give us the population variance. Population variance. So if you are looking for the population variance, you cannot use this statistics library. So what we're gonna do is gonna say sample variance stats equals stats dot variance and just pass in your data like that and it's giving me an error over here but i just want to make sure oh i put this in as st that's why so let me just change that back and should be good now if i go over here and say our sample variance we get 93490 and uh we go back over here all right our sample variance 93490 and just to grab the standard deviation let's just go over here We'll say std, div, and then we'll say stats equals st dot st dev, and then throw in our data over here. And one more line of code just to see what this looks like. I guess I should print it out this one here. It doesn't really matter, but uh, 305. So just to kind of recap, remember you have two different types of variance and standard deviation population versus sample population is if you have everything sample is you're only grabbing a small portion of it uh the easiest way to remember sample is you're going to subtract one at the bottom whereas population you are not and just the manual side of things right grab your list over here then take your list minus the mean of that list square them and then at the very end we're going to take those square differences divided by that length uh, take the sum i should say and uh pretty much you are done Hope you guys enjoyed this Python statistics video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna make more in the near future, uh, but I do have a wide library of videos. So I'm gonna put a few down below in the description as well as a playlist right over here that you should check out.